I bought this electromagnetic radiation tester model VTER2 because behind our house they put up a cell phone tower and I don't think it's tall enough. I think it's actually uh, transmitting through our house and the neighbor's house. So I wanted to get this to see, you know, what kind of field strength there was coming through the house. And uh, yeah, it cost about, I think, $22, something like that. Not much to it. Uh, the instructions that came with it are, well, I don't know. <laughs> They're kind of the typical instructions from this, uh, that kind of uh, inexpensive product from overseas. So it goes through the introduction, you know, what, what this stuff is, why you might want to use it, like leukemia for children and all that stuff. Um, then knowledge about electromagnetic waves. Actually, this is not too bad, this part. I don't know where they got it, but it's pretty good. And then it goes through the basic operation, uh, the charting, the system settings, which are, yeah, they're very, very basic. So you have a choice of like screen turning on and off, uh, machine uh, turning on and off, the language, the light intensity, and the beep. That's it. That's, yeah. Uh, and then you can turn on the alarm settings. You can change the alarm settings. And then there's the uh, the basic information on it. That's what the real thing looks like. Uh, let me show you that. You can see that the screen is really reflective. I found using it outside almost impossible because unless you hold it away from you like this, you, you can't really see the screen. I mean, the whole the sky is always reflecting on the screen. Um, you turn it on by a push and yeah um, when I first turned it on it was all zeros and yeah for the first about 10 minutes of operation it just showed all zeros I don't know if it had to calibrate itself or something that's not in the instructions now it's actually starting to show some kind of a, a strength um, yeah so I'm uh, I'm, I'm kind of torn on this. I'm not going to go into any depth, but uh, there's the window for uh, detection. And I don't know if I cover it up with something like this. Yeah, so I mean, obviously that window is doing something. But when I took it up on the roof and pointed it at the cell phone tower, I got nothing. Uh, near my phone, I got nothing, which, you know, should, phone should produce something. Um, it should produce a pretty pretty strong signal. So it's very slow to update. Um, yeah, my uh, LED lights are producing more of a signal. Interestingly enough, it started working near my crystal radio, which I thought was kind of interesting, and it, it started alarming. Uh, so that was the first time I saw it work, but at that point, it had already been turned on for 10 minutes. So this is one of my remote mics, and I'll turn it on. And it should start throwing out some signal. Um, <laughs> yeah, this should have a pretty hefty signal. There we go. You can see how slow it is to react. I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Uh, it was, you know, not very expensive. Like I said, about 22 bucks. And it runs on three AAA batteries. Um, so can I do better for maybe a little bit more money? I don't know. I'm, again, I'm torn. The, okay, so the bad points are, like I said, it didn't work for about the first 10 minutes. It's just all zeros. And maybe it was calibrating or just setting up or something. I don't know, but uh, it didn't. It's very slow to react. Oh, there we go. Good, it's starting to show an alarm. I don't know if it's a real alarm. It says warm. Um, RF strength warm.
So, yeah, and it, it almost always shows in the 20s. Let's see if I point it more towards the light. No. No. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't trust it. Uh, the fact that it just showed all zeros and whatever. I mean, it. yeah, if I close off the window, it does seem to react to that. But you can see how slowly it reacts. So I take my finger away and see that? Put my finger back, it drops pretty quickly. But when I remove my finger, see how slowly it responds? And the electric field hasn't changed. Is it jumping up to alarm? No. You saw how long it took the first time to go into alarm mode. So yeah, slow to react is is an understatement. I don't know. I mean, maybe they expect you to set it in the electric field for 10 minutes, but again, it's not even going back up to the original level. And so I would say unreliable, uh, kind of strange to use at very best. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to keep it. I, I don't like to order stuff and then do a review of it and then send it back. I think that's kind of cheesy, but in this case, I think I'm justified in sending it back because it's, yeah, it's subpar. Okay, that was it. Just kind of a quick and dirty uh, PSA on this thing and a review of how it works or doesn't work. Okay, hope you found that useful and interesting in your radio electronics or whatever you're doing with RF.